Science. Women. Wyance. Hi, I'm Laura Wilcox and this is FemEd. I'm your scientific ambassador in this series. Sure, I'm not technically a scientist or medical doctor by society's unrealistic standards, but I had scoliosis when I was a teenager, so I know a lot about medicine stuff. Today on Waste Trainers, it was the great social scientist Sir Mixlot who once said, little in the middle, but she got much back. Dr. Mixalot's words highlight our culture's obsession with the hourglass figure. Why do we revere the hourglass figure? Well, on a biological level, women with a 0.7 waist to hip ratio, which is a waist that's significantly smaller than the hips, are seen as more fertile, more likely to produce healthy offspring. So little in the middle, and you got more kids. And on a social and cultural level, there are the Kardashians, a group of women who have taken to Instagram to tout the waist trainer as a magical device that can help any woman mold her body into an hourglass figure. I would never, I would never drink chemicals. So this is a waist trainer. I'm going to conduct an empirical study to see if it works and if women should be using it. I will begin by trying it out on myself. This is a large, just no power. I feel like I'm gonna snap my ribs. Right in my nuts, here. I spoke to my colleague, Dr. Holly Phillips, about the waist trainer. Dr. Holly is a general internist, primarily treating women. And while I didn't opt to pursue an advanced degree in medicine, I think it's clear that I can rise to meet Dr. Holly at her level. When I put this on, describe to me what's happening to my internal organs. The MRI that I saw on my patient who was wearing one at the time, you could actually see her ribs moving into her liver. So the liver had ripples uh, where the ribs were. She didn't have any long-term damage. It's sort of like if you have like a tube of squeezed cheese. Mm -hmm. You can squeeze it, but the cheese is gonna squirt out. People that I've talked to who wear these say at first it's very hard and then it seems to get easier and easier and easier. I think they're just getting better at blocking out their pain. Wow, that's something horrifying about that thought. Would you ever recommend this to any of your patients? No. This isn't like gonna permanently give me that hourglass figure that I want. No. A lot of women in America get their medical advice from the Kardashians. Which is another question actually, do you feel like they're a threat to your field? No. I hope that scoliosis becomes like the hot thing. Why do you think a woman would wear something like this. I think this is just for like image and like it's not actually being healthy. If you, um, if you so could that's... just like give a pull, you just like pull. Do you feel like it makes a woman look sexier? No. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. This is a large, by the way. Do you want to try it on? I don't. I would never try that. Maybe we start in the middle. I feel like that's the worst place to start. Do you think that there's like a male equivalent of the waist trainer? <laughs> um, uh, toupee? Do you have a message out there for all the ladies who might think that they need to try this? Don't. If this makes you happy, you haven't found real happiness. Okay, keep going. No, wait, I, I'll start so, screaming. You're a terrible lady in waiting. Ladies, thank you so much for taking this scientific journey with me. After exhaustive research and compiling all of the data, I have determined that this waist trainer innovation is basically just a corset that requires an entire football team to put on. <laughs> Seriously. I had so many people try to help me and I couldn't get it on. Should you wear a waist trainer? Well, really, it's up to you. If this sort of thing is important to you, then go for it. Look, there are tons of pressures from the biological side, from society telling you to have an hourglass figure. But at the end of the day, you need to look inside of you. Will this make you feel good? Will this make you happy? 
Because when I look inside, I like where my organs are. So they're gonna stay that way. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Waist Trainer episode of Fem Ed. If you'd like to see more, subscribe or click one of our other videos. Subscribe, click one of our other videos. Subscribe, click one of our other videos. Watch them, is what I'm saying. I tell my mom I'm, an, I'm a, a performer and, and I, I need you to click on them because otherwise <laughs> I'm just talking to nobody. I'm talking to myself. Please.